Hello Living Dells fans, this is Josh, aka Doggy Pants, and I'm coming at you in partnership with Mezco Toys for another Living Dead Dolls review. So today we are going to be looking at a um, very anticipated doll. People were very excited for this doll uh, when it was first announced. I was very excited. I'm so happy to have him. Uh, and that doll is Ash from Evil Dead, Bruce Campbell in all his glory in Living Dead Dolls form. So it is a Living Dead Dolls Presents doll. Um, and it's amazing that they have made this one. So I'm very excited to show it to you guys. I'm going to start with the box. So it is a standard kind of Living Dead Dolls window box. What's nice is there's no flap, so it has an open picture of the doll inside the box. Now, on the front, it says Living Dead Dolls presents Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. Um, we've got Living Dead Dolls on this side. On this side, it says Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. And then on the back, we've got a picture of the Necronomicon, Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. Uh, <laughs> kiss your nerves goodbye. Pretty cool. Uh, nice, nice window box for uh, for Ash here. But uh, let's jump straight into it and take a look at the doll, shall we? Here he is. Boom! Ash. This doll is so cute, and he's actually extremely well detailed. They put a lot into this doll. It's super, super cool. So let's start by taking a look at his outfit. Um, so he does have the standard Living Dead Dolls black boots. You're going to notice that there's no socks on this Living Dead Doll, so just the boots. Um, and his outfit is actually pretty interesting. It is all one piece. So this blue shirt that has a blue collar, uh, the sleeve on this side is torn off. The sleeve on this side goes into the chainsaw, which I'll get to in a minute. It does all Velcro down the back. You see that? But what's interesting is he has um, a little black belt. You can see it right there. Um, little, so this little black belt, uh, and then also these brown like uh, belts that go across his back. Um, these are actually working pieces. So they're built a lot like the one that we first saw in Misery, where you have to kind of slide it through the loop. Um, but if you want to take this entire outfit off, you are going to have to take off that little black belt because it does go around and over the, um, well, actually through a tiny little loop in the back of his pants. You see that? So you have to take the belt off in order to get this pants and this like shirt combo off. Now this shirt combo does have kind of the like, little paint circles to represent buttons down the front. Those are just decorative. He does have a collar again, just decorative. He has this amazing little tear on his shirt to kind of show off the the uh, rip on his side there, the like three scars, um, or like the scratch marks, which I love. Um, but look at this. I'm going to hold this up close. Look at that belt detail that's holding his uh, gun holster on his back for his shotgun. Um, it's pretty nice. Now, this gun holster, I'm going to kind of give you an up-close picture too. So it is kind of faux leather. It's... Uh, stitched down this seam here just so just one stitch and then it's uh, like the the threading hangs down there at the bottom you're gonna notice that it is open a little bit on the bottom but the shotgun is built in a way that it won't go all the way through so it, it does stay nicely in there which is pretty cool um yeah that's pretty much it for the clothes you're gonna notice that his pants are are pretty torn up he has some uh tears especially on the knees it's like what you've been doing ash huh just saying uh, so his knees are all uh, jankified there. Um, so where this doll gets really, really special is in the accessories and also the new mold that they have for both his arm and his face. Um, so I think I'm going to start with, I'm going to leave this as an accessory. I'm going to start with the mold so you can see. Um, look at his face. Look at that chin. That is not a normal Living Dead Doll's chin. This chin was built specifically for this doll to give him that Bruce Campbell intense chin that we all are so familiar with, which I love. So cool. They also created an entirely new mold for his hand. So look at that. There you can see it really well. So his hand here on his left hand is uh, positioned in a way that you can actually put the shotgun in there and he can hold it as if his finger is on the trigger, which is really cool. They've yet to use that kind of an arm before. 
his face paint is actually rather simple, but he's a, you know, he's representing a human doll that, uh, our character that we know very well, it doesn't need to be very detailed. So we've got kind of the cuts on his face where we see them in the movie, especially the famous one on his upper lip, uh, the side of his cheek there. He's got his eyebrow raised in a very, you know, Bruce Campbell way, which I love. A really simple kind of human-esque eye, you know, a little brown eye with a little white dot to give him some life. His hair is pretty thickly rooted. There is a little bit of gel in it um, to give it this kind of curly, wet effect, which works. It does, you know, it represents the character well. It's a little on the crunchy side, but it's not bad. Um, I really like it. And it's super thick. You don't see any bald spots on this doll, which is really, really nice. So... Now that we've done that with the doll, I want to really take a moment to take a look at these accessories because they are beautiful. This, um, this chainsaw that's attached to his right arm does not come off. So it is permanently on there. You can see that his shirt is tucked on the inside of that as well. Look at the detail of this chainsaw. There's blood on it. It's really, really nicely made. There's this handle here. I kind of wish that he could grab a hold of that with his hand, but he can't. His hand is in the position for the gun, which is totally fine with me. Um, but there you can see the inside of the chainsaw as well. It's really, really well detailed, and it's a nice little toy chainsaw. Pretty freaking cool, if I do say so myself. I also appreciate the blood splattering all over it. I think that's a really nice touch. Um, so he also comes with... Uh, a little teeny Necronomicon. Look at that. Adorable. Kind of standard Living Dead Dolls plastic book, so it does not open, but uh, it's really nicely detailed and looks just like the one in the movie, which I appreciate. Um, so there's that. We've got the book, and then we've got this amazing little sawed-off shotgun. Look at that thing. It's really, really nicely made. There you go. There's the front of it, the top, the side, and I'm going to show you how he holds it in his hand. If I can get it in there. There we go. So there you go. Look at that. It's perfectly positioned. What a nice detail to have uh, a different mold for the arm so that he could have this. He uh, could have his boomstick ready to go and to uh, take on some people. I love it. I mean, this doll is extremely well made. This, this gun also slips really nicely into this back holster. So here I'll show you. If you put it in there, it's uh, easily accessible. You can just grab it and go. <laughs> I love it, you guys. But yeah, but that is Ash from Evil Dead 2. Now, uh, during Black Friday, they actually had a variant Ash for sale on Mezco Direct. So it's the Deadite Ash that we are oh so familiar with. Uh, so he's going to be a little bit different. Still will have the same, you know, Bruce Campbell face mold, uh, white eyes, really, really cool. Hopefully I'll get one of those to review as well and we can take a look at him side by side. Uh, this is a great doll. If you're a fan of the Presents doll, this is one not to miss. Definitely get out there and buy him. His accessories alone are worth it. He's incredible. Um, but yeah, but that's it, you guys. Um, I'm going to have a couple back-to-back -back videos right now because uh, because we got a lot in from Mezco Toys, which is exciting. So uh, this was the first. Stay tuned for the other ones. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye.